caught you caught me kind of midstream here. I was about to use our Snowflake connector and go pull some data out of an EDW that I have out in Snowflake because, like, why wouldn't I have moved my data off my on-prem server to something that's more scalable and available for analysts around the world to be able to pull from? So I'm about to start this. Go ahead and sit a while. It's asking me for my server name. Hey, that's pretty easy. I know what I'm doing there. Hey, I, I, I got an idea of what my database name is. and. Ooh, then it's asking me for a schema, and it's asking me for a warehouse, and it's asking me for a role. Well, those are kind of different parameters than what I would normally use for a database. So, hey, why don't we go take a look, just because I don't know those things off the top of my head. I'm going to actually pop out to the cloud here where I've got a worksheet up and running because I'm starting to take a look at this data. And I'm logged in, and if I were to press run here, I'm able to see this data from my patients table. Now you'll notice it says hub and I've got this other query here for satellite. That's just a data vault um, format so that when I moved the data and created a EDW in Snowflake using click compose it's created those tables for me and as I understand these satellite tables this is really cool will have each of my change data for my slowly changing dimensions fantastic right so all I need to do now is take a look at this table and see what these values are and oh shoot I get it I get an error here saying I'm not authorized that's where the role comes in my friend Snowflake, like other systems, provides different access. I can use one of many roles that are granted to me as a user. And I chose the top secret role, foolishly apparently thinking I was getting top secret access. And here that role meant, geez, we're going we're gonna to hide some things that people shouldn't see. We want to keep those things top secret. Well, because I have multiple roles assigned to me, I'm going to switch to account admin. Notice that here it's asking me for my warehouse. And if I look at this, I can also see this. I can access other warehouses if I chose. I want the General Hospital WH Warehouse and I want the General Hospital EDW database which I can also see in the side here. And the schema here in this case is public. If you're familiar with other database systems, other database systems also have schemas and typically there's also security at those levels as well. Well now if I use this account admin role and I want to run the, this query and I want to see what's in this satellite table, well sure enough that role grants me access. So let's jump back into click and fill those parameters in then. So I know that the database is General Hospital EDW and I do want to use public and I want to use the General hospital warehouse and the role that I want to use in this case is account admin. Now obviously I did that top secret thing to be silly. Normally I would have granted a role that only had select permissions and references permissions. I would not give myself in a connector that I'm get, I might be sharing with others the ability to do that. And so I need to come in here now and I need to fill in my user credentials. So I'm going to put in my username. I'm going to give it my password. Let's go ahead and give this a nice connector name like General Hospital on Snowflake. And I'm going to go ahead and create this connector. And you'll see now I have access to all those tables. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. I'm going to take a look at this patient satellite table. This is the data I want to start tracking and audit some of these things, maybe provide a filter. When did things change? The neat thing about these satellite tables is that they track where um, users change data, which batch for the EDW did that happen with? I would add this data and I'd move on, but oh hey, 
I know, I know, you gotta go. All you cared about was how I did my snowflake connector. Well, you have a great day because I get to have lots more fun, though.